everybody, welcome to my home site and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm responding to an email from Eric Beach. I've already responded to this one, but I only partially responded to it. Uh, he wanted me to look up these different phrases in the scripture citation index and add them to my spreadsheet. Now, uh, remember, if you want to see the spreadsheet, um, I put it. I put a link for it in every video in the description, so uh, that's always going to be available. Uh, I also have. Uh, make sure to check this out if you haven't already. If you're interested in in these this like series of videos that I'm doing, uh, I have a. I have a playlist just for these videos where we're looking at the frequency of these words and terms as they come up in general conference. Uh, I've already done quite a few, quite a few of them, and uh, there's basically no end in sight. So I'm probably just going to keep adding to this. The name of the playlist is called Scripture, Word, and Phrase Frequency. Okay, so you can uh, watch that playlist, uh, see if there's any that you missed, uh, if you want to watch those. Okay, so I'm just going to do, I'm going to read his email over again so you know what we're talking about in this video. He says, Hey Christian Homestead, thank you for your good work. I've enjoyed your series on the importance of words and word frequency. One thing that has, stuck, has struck me is how President Nelson talks about you slash your rather than our slash we. For example, in his talk, The Temple and Your Spiritual Foundation, I noticed that he used the word you slash your over 30 times. And so he, and then he puts like a, examples here, your foundation, your testimony, your temple recommend, your understanding, your covenants, your spiritual insights, your awakenings, etc. Uh, I've noticed, <clears throat> excuse me, I've noticed that he... Uh, does this in most of his talks. It makes his message message seem extremely personal to me, rather than talking about the church as a whole. I wondered if you had noticed that as well, or maybe I'm just off base. Anyway, uh, just wanted to put that on your radar. Okay, so, um, well, okay, so here he, you know, he's talking specifically about President Nelson, um, but he was also talking about uh, the series of the series I'm doing on word frequency and phrase frequency, and so I decided to take him up on that and uh, look at some of these specifically. So I already did a few of these. Now I want to do the rest of them. Okay, so we're going to start out with your foundation, starting in 1942. Okay. 1942 comes up once for the the rest of the 40s not at all okay in the 50s we got two times in the 60s three times in the 70s three times in the 80s four times well now in the 90s okay look at that uh, we have... 10 times in the 90s. So all of a sudden we're talking about your foundation. And it's kind of clustered toward uh, the early 90s, mostly, with the peak being in, in 1992. Okay, let's look at the 2000s. Okay, there's kind of a lot in the 2000s as well. Uh, nine. There's nine in the 2000s. Let's look at the 2010s. Okay, the 2010s, uh, it starts to get kind of heavy here. We have 14. So, <clears throat> so far, uh, the 2010s is a record-breaking decade for the phrase, your foundation. Okay, now let's look at the 20s. Okay, with the 20s, we're already at four. Okay, which, which I think is it's interesting. Uh, now let's zoom out and let's kind of look at the big picture here. Um, so you can see <clears throat> in the last century, it's pretty sparse. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's pretty sparse with the exception of the early 90s. And if you wanted to, you could probably clump 1987 and 1985 along with this. So there's kind of like a clustering here. Um, but then it becomes just kind of like a frequent topic at the turn of the century. Um, in any given year, it's it's mentioned at least once every year of this century, with the exception of three years, 2004, 7, and 9. Every other year, it's mentioned at least once, 
And uh, the most recent spike was last year in uh, <clears throat> 2021 with three times. Uh, the only other time that that's happened was in 2014. And then you'd have to go all the way back to 1992 uh, for anything similar. 1992 still holds the record with four mentions. So it's interesting. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm so sorry about my voice. Um, it's interesting. Uh, I, I find it interesting that at the turn of the century, the turn of the millennium, start, not starting with two, the year 2000, but in 2001, uh, it just kind of becomes a solid and very frequent phrase. Uh, not very frequent, but I, I'm talking about like on a yearly basis. Um, okay, so that's your foundation. Now, let me go down here because I don't want to give away uh, what's going to happen. We're going to look at, let's see, let's hide, let's hide your foundation and then let's move on to your spiritual. Let me hide these columns, columns C and D. Let's zoom back in. Okay, your spiritual. Now, your spiritual, uh, that includes phrases like your spiritual foundation, uh, your, uh, let's see, your spiritual immune system, your spiritual capacity, uh, your spiritual and emotional preparation, uh, your spiritual memories. So it's kind of broad, but we're kind of uh, we're kind of honing in on just like what Eric was saying. Your, you, your. Okay. So sorry. Let me take a drink <clears throat> of Coke Zero. Very good. Okay, 1942. Okay, in the 40s, three times. In the 50s, two times. In the 60s, uh, five times. In the 70s, let's see, <clears throat> three, five times. Oh, wait, six times? Yeah, six times. In the 80s, okay, now this... <clears throat> this uh, starts to get kind of frequent. We got 10. 10 for the 80s. This is for your spiritual. Okay, the 90s, that looks even more uh, with 15. Yep, so 15. Let's look at the 2000s. Uh, the 2000s, not so much. Uh, only 8. 2010s. Okay, 2010s. Wow. Okay. Uh, we got 20. 20 for the 2010s. Now let's look at the 20s. And the 20s are off to a bang. <laughs> oh my gosh. With, <clears throat> with 5 and 6 and 6 being a record uh, a record breaking year. Um 2021 with six mentions. That's a, a record-breaking year. Uh, your spiritual has never shown up as much as it has in 2021. So again, let's zoom out. Let's kind of look at the big picture here. So, uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, again, it's kind of it's kind of sparse uh, before the 90s, just like the last one. Uh, it starts to pick up, uh, probably in uh, 1987, or or maybe you could say 1983, whatever. And then there's kind of a cluster in the early 90s, and then it kind of dies off a little bit, uh, moving into the century, the turn of the century. And then it starts to kind of pick up in 2012. Uh, we have a kind of like a dark red cluster here between 2013 and 15 and then a definite really heavy cluster of or a pairing of two years 2020 and 2021 uh very very high and then you can put this all together as just like a solid block from 2012 until the present so uh just i mean gosh it, it's like it doesn't it's almost like it doesn't matter what you look up uh, in terms of the second coming or spiritual preparation or um, your testimony, temple recommends, just all these different things. Um, 
you know, there are differences sometimes, but there is a general pattern that these things have definitely, definitely been talked about a lot more frequently within the last few years. And, and here is another example for your spiritual. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Let's zoom back in. Okay, what's the next one? We'll hide your spiritual. Okay, now we're moving on to your understanding. Let's hide column C. Okay, your understanding. Okay, uh, only two in the 40s, and it's not until 1949. For the 50s, uh, same thing. <laughs> Nothing until 1959. And then in 1959, it's two times. <clears throat> okay, in the 60s, three times. In the 70s, four times. In the 80s, five times. In the 90s, what do we got here? Ten times. So it's kind of like, it's kind of following the same pattern. Okay, uh, the 2000s. Wow, okay, it starts to pick up here. 2000s, we're at 14 times. Let's look at the 2010s. Looks like it quiets, a, quiets down a little bit, nine times. And then... In the 20s, only two times. Okay, so this one's a little bit different. Uh, it still kind of does follow the pattern a little bit. But with this one, uh, the, the heaviest the heaviest times would be from the late 90s until, oh, I don't know, the, the mid-2000s. Or, or maybe you can stretch it until 2011. So late 90s till 2011, that decade... Uh, is where you find the most frequency of the term your understanding. Okay, Make of that what you will, but it's kind of died off since that time. Although it, it is more frequent than uh, the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. Another interesting thing, um, well, I'll bring, no, sorry, I'll bring that up later. Because I want to look at uh, all the, the entire spreadsheet and point out a few things. Okay, let's move on to our last phrase. Uh, let's see. We'll expand that. We'll hide your understanding. Okay, now we're on to your covenants. Okay, your covenants. So in the 40s, nothing. In the 50s, uh, just two times. In the 60s, four times. In the 70s, in the 70s, nothing. Nothing in the 70s for your covenants. That is kind of uh, weird to me. Okay, in the 80s, four times. In the 90s, uh, we got, let's see, five, seven times. In the 2000s, okay, now in the 2000s, Look at this. Starting with the year 2000, we've got 17 times. That is quite the uptick. That is quite the uptick compared to all these other decades going back to the 40s. It like blows every other decade away. Now, one thing uh, that comes to mind right now is... You see President Hinckley right here, and we know that it was around this time, uh, I think it was 1999, that we started having all these, the mini temples constructed. I could be wrong. Uh, I think that that's the year, though, that they started being uh, not so much constructed, but um, finished and dedicated. So maybe you have this uptick here because it's like, okay, we are making all these temples, you know, trying to make it, make the temple more accessible to everybody. So make sure to go there and make covenants, make covenants in the temple, your covenants. I don't know. Okay. Let's look at, let's look at the 2010s. Okay. This seems pretty, I don't know. Let's add it up. 
16. Now, this is interesting because in 2013, in the middle of President Monson's presidency, uh, you have a record-breaking year with six, six mentions of your covenants. And then uh, the whole decade is, is pretty heavy by itself. So... I don't know, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you some stuff about 2013 because there's something that I noticed uh, when it comes to the year 2013. But let's finish this one off with the 20s. Okay, yeah, in the 20s uh, we're off. We're starting it off with a bang. Uh, we already have 10 just between 2020 and 2021. Okay, so. Um, 2013 up till that point was a record-breaking year and then it was tied with 2020 okay um so that is that now this one okay this one is really interesting to me okay just because um th they've been talking a lot recently how uh we really need to make sure that we uh, get our ordinances done, make covenants, and by doing so, we we yoke ourselves with Christ. We bond ourselves to to Christ, um, and that and that's like necessary preparation for the second coming, and also for protection, and also for power to resist uh, temptation and and all the things that are prevailing right now in the world. Um, going to the temple and then performing your your ordinances are critical. So, in this case, uh, starting in the year 2000, uh, this is similar to the other one, all of a sudden, at the turn of the millennium, uh, this becomes a pretty hot topic, and especially since 2013. This is huge right now. This is huge. Uh, I would call this a warning call, <laughs> you know? If you haven't had your ordinances yet, uh, do it. Do what, do what you need to do. To get to get it done, uh, another term that we looked at was temple recommend, and they've also been pushing that really heavily lately. When you go uh, before the year two thousand, uh, I'm surprised how little this comes up. Yeah, yeah, it like hardly comes up at all. Now, okay, now I'm gonna uh, unhide all the columns, and we're gonna talk about a few things. So I've talked about a number of times how. When it comes to second coming uh, phrases and words, the 70s usually takes the cake for the, the sheer number of times that these words and phrases are used. The 70s was a very, very heavy time when it came to second coming specific words and phrases. Now, in this case, we're talking about more like not second coming specific things, you know, your covenants, your understanding, your spiritual, uh, your foundation, stuff like that, your your temple recommend, your foundation. In the 70s, uh, in contrast with these terms where it's talking about you preparing, in the 70s, it's actually pretty quiet. But in recent times, uh, uh, it becomes like th like the topic of conversation, um, at least since the turn of the millennium, with all these different things. You can see your testimony right here. Uh, that really takes off, starting uh, with the year 1999. I guess there's kind of like a little uh, uh, ramp up right here in the 90s, but then it really takes off after the turn of the century. It's just like dark red, almost the whole thing for your testimony. Look at your foundation over here. Your foundation, that takes off starting in 2002. And then when you go down to the 70s, uh, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot going on there. Not much to um, to mention uh, from there. So, uh, what's interesting is that in recent years, uh, within the last like five, maybe ten years, but, but definitely within the last five years, there's been a huge, huge uptick in Second Coming talk, but also, in contrast to the 70s, also a big uptick in talking about uh, preparing yourself spiritually, your foundation, your spiritual whatever, your understanding, your covenants, Temple Recommend. Okay, 
so I guess what I'm saying is that uh, in the 70s, they were talking a lot about the second coming, but not so much the preparation parts of it. Now, they're talking both really heavily about the second coming and preparing yourself. And I think that that's noteworthy. Now, the other thing I wanted to point out was the year 2013. Okay, this one kind of stood out to me, and I've thought about this before in other videos, but now I think we have enough data to make this point. Look at the year 2013. Um, I don't want to zoom in too much. Let's go to 125% zoom. Okay, so you'll notice that 2013 seems like maybe it was an important year. This was right in the middle of President Monson's presidency. With your covenants, you had this record-breaking number of six times. And then there was an uptick for your spiritual, okay, with four times. Uh, there was an uptick with your foundation. Um, let's scroll over. Uh, use of the word Jerusalem. There was kind of a, there were, it was 10 times in 2013, uh, which is much higher than normal. It wasn't the highest, but for that to happen in 2013, that's interesting. Um, let's see, let's go over here. Power of God and great glory. You have a two right here, which is for, for that term, that's a lot. Uh, you have it in 2013. Look over here, you have a dark red for spiritual preparation. Well, not a dark red, but you have a solid red, uh, whereas the rest of it, it's uh, you have to go back to the to 2005 and 2004 for that. Um, okay, let's keep going. Uh, there were a few more things. After 2013, that's when you start to see ongoing restoration. Uh, before that time, it's only mentioned one other time um, before 2013. Okay, last days. Now, 2013, uh, that might be, well, you don't see a number that high uh, except for back in the 80s. You have to go back to the 80s to see a number this high for last days. Not even 2021 or 2020. Uh, beat 2013 for last days. Um, okay, what else? What else? There were a few more. I thought there was. Okay, look at this. Hastening. Hasten and hastening. In 2013, that's when hasten and hastening start to take off. Okay, before that time, not so much. It was more sporadic, but starting with 2013, hasten and hastening just takes off. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if there, were, there was anything else. Yeah, probably not. Okay, no. Okay, so I just want to make note of that. Um, 2013, I don't know what was going on that year. I can't remember. Uh, I do know that was, that was the year that I joined the Army, but I don't think that that relates to this. Um... Something, something seems to have happened in 2013 where suddenly they're starting to talk about some of these things. Um, so it, it's just, it's fascinating. It's fascinating to look at these patterns, to see the trends, to see the, you know, just what's going on. Okay, so um, there you have it. Uh, you'll have to let me know what you think. Did you have any thoughts? Uh, anything that I didn't mention as I was going through this? Put it in the comments below. Um, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, like this video if you liked it. Make sure to share this with anyone that would be interested in doing a study like this and in, in what the the general authorities are currently saying in general conference. Okay, because there there definitely is a story going on here, and uh, it doesn't really become too obvious. I, I mean, maybe it kind of does, but like it becomes very very obvious when you put all this stuff on a spreadsheet. Uh, you can start to see things really, really clearly, I think. Um, yeah, and so uh, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later.